Hi, this is Mickey Joe's Craft Shack. And remember all the videos I've promised you of crafts? Well, today I'm going to do one with you. And these are the brooches that I made for the nursing home where my husband worked. I'm not gonna show you how to do them, but I wanted you to know about them. I'm gonna show you how to do the ones for the men. But this is what I did. And in another video, I'll show you how to make these. These are the men's brooches that I made because believe it or not, they want something too. So we've got a male brooch and a female brooch. And I have them all done. So I'm gonna show you how to make some for St. Patrick's Day. Okay, I've got this little felt out here so that you can see everything really good. My daughter made me this little pattern to the store. And I bought me some white felt. You can get them at Hobby Lobby. Michael's or any other little store you have in your town. Hawaii's got Ben Franklin. I put it on. I didn't pen it because I didn't want to run this. I could have cut another one um, out of a tissue paper or thin paper and then penned it and not cared. But I penned it on and then I cut it out. Once I cut it, then I used the pattern that I made. Penned a pen in it. And I didn't put pens all over it because when I made the little heart ones, I put like several pens in this way, two for each leg, and then when I started sewing them, the background was a different size. So I only put this on like this, and then I cut them out, and let me get these cut out, and I'll come back have two and you want to cut out a whole bunch of them huh? instead of gluing them together the two pieces because one piece was just not thick enough it was too flimsy so I wanted it to be thicker and I thought about cardboard but I decided that I'd rather have it like this I cut them all out and let me tell you the wrong thing to do one thing I did that on here that I forgot to do on this one is I put my ribbon around I decorated the front before I sewed on the back. I put my ribbon and I glued it around like this. And once I had it glued and put the back on, then you couldn't see where it ended. I don't like to have the knot showing anywhere. So I started on the inside like this and then I sew small stitches because I think they look neater. So then I stitch these all together, which like I said, I shouldn't have done because I couldn't hide the ribbon in between. Don't stitch them all together until you've put this on top and decorate them. But I've done all these, and as you see, I forgot to leave a space for the ribbon. So I stitched a whole bunch of them before I thought about that. And here's my finished one. And I do have a knot in the back, but that's where one of the little pens is gonna be glued to. Took my ribbon, and I measured how much I needed, and I put it a little bit over so that I can tuck it around. Once you have that cut, you kind of like have a template, so how many ever you need, measure it next to it and just cut you several. Once you have all them cut, you can start in on your shorts. So I'm gonna glue this on here. All right, this is gonna be kind of hard because I don't have a piece of scrap paper, I forgot to bring one, but I covered this glue. Really wished I'd brought a piece of scrap paper. So I don't want to get it on this felt. My glue's kind of drying out because I had already filmed this. Make sure you get all the way to the end and found out I filmed it sideways. Now I don't want to put this down on the felt you can see. So 
then put this this and this one I've already put a back on it because as I said I filmed it before so tuck this around Got my, got my little jewels. Now, you can pick them up like this, but they kind of get messy. I have a pair of surgical scissors. So I clip it on like this. Give me some glue. And put it where I want. Let it go. And with these, okay, some are light and some are dark. I don't know if you can see, but we're going to go ahead and do the light since I see many of them. But put them on like this, get your glue, put it on, place it, and there you go. And then you're going to decorate the whole rest of it however you want. Here's the completed ones that I've done. Now, once these are dry, it's time to do the bags. We're going to plug in our heat gun. We're going to get us a pair of pants. Good. I bought a bag of these little deals. I set these up with this little thing, which turns. Okay, so I set all these up and make sure that little thing's facing that way. I did it before without doing setting them up like this, and it took so long. So I run a strip like that and then I place it on. Once you get it done, sit it to the side. I wanted to explain why you put the pens at the top or closer to the top. Some of them I have even closer than this one. The pen is up close to the top so it's really easy to see. When I put the pen in the middle, there's so much material to bend back to see what you're doing to pen it on. But I realized I needed to put the pens at the top. And they would be pinned up looking like this. So it's so much easier to put the pen on when it's at the top. Oh, I did try gluing on these with a heat gun. And of course, with them being so small, you get burnt. Well, that's my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Bye for now. Oh, and don't forget, if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe and share them with other friends or on your Facebook page.